are these people? We're going to talk about the Assange appeal that happened recently. Colin, did you follow it? Were you there? It happened at 5 in the morning over in the UK time, so people probably missed it. Um, but Joe Loria over at Consortium News, one of those indie, indie media award honorees, um, as well. Um, but uh, he writes Assange wins right to appeal on First Amendment issue. The High Court in London ruled Monday that Julian Assange can reveal his can appeal his extradition to the U.S. on the grounds that he's being denied his First Amendment rights. Right? Remember we talked about this. So. Mm -hmm. The High Court in London on Monday granted Assange the right to appeal the order, right, um, on the grounds that the U.S. did not satisfy the court that it would allow Assange a First Amendment defense. That's that whole citizenry stuff, right, on the basis right. of where he's from. So, uh, Laurie has spent a long time listening to the United States putting lipstick on a pig, but the judges didn't buy it. Stella Assange told reporters outside the court building. As a family, we are relieved, but how long can this go on? The United States should read the situation and drop the case. Assange has been in prison in London's notorious Belmarsh prison for more than five years on a remand bending the outcome of his extradition. He must now spend an untold number of more months in the maximum security prison awaiting the start of the appeal. He was locked in the Ecuadorian embassy for nine years before that. In that sense, it was a bitty, bitter victory for Assange. He gets to stay in prison another year or more. Joe Biden doesn't have to worry about a journalist showing up in chains in Alexandria, Virginia, during a presidential campaign. And of course, Assange could lose his appeal and arrive in the U.S. at a more opportune time for Biden. In another sense, it was a victory for the supremacy of European law when it comes to free speech. So... Well, about, so basically, this is a victory for Biden that he doesn't have to worry about it. Yes. Assuming that he will not be president come this time next year. Maritzi, uh, Stefania, of course, we should be happy. The high court has not ruled uh, Julian Assange should be exercised, and there will be a new appeal. Sure, an appeal, and another appeal, and another appeal. This is the 14th year of her professional life that she flies to London for an appeal on Julian Assange and he's still not free. So Stefania telling it like she sees it. Uh, Misty replies, agreed. Be happy. This is the best of truly awful outcomes but don't lose sight of the fact that, very, that every second this continues is a tragedy and they're just going to keep dragging it out until enough people put enough pressure on them you have to make it politically untenable for them to continue. We need your help, all of you. Right? So, mm -hmm. Assange was once again too ill to attend court. We haven't seen him publicly since the photo was leaked from the day he had a mini stroke in October of 2021. Demand to see and hear from Assange. Let him speak. That's my big thing. I would like to hear him speaking. You know, so I don't know why that is not allowed. Um, but anyway, here is Stella outside uh, this court proceeding. So we're going to let her have the floor. The judges reached the right decision. We spent a long time hearing the United also, sorry for the quality. This is the best I could find. I think there were some internet issues, so keep that in mind. Um, it states putting lipstick on a pig, but the judges did not buy it. As, as a family, we are relieved. Fuck off me! As a family, we're relieved. I don't know who that was that said, get the fuck off me. I don't know where that's in there. Someone was very upset. So. But how long can this go on? The United States should read the situation and drop this case now. Now is the moment to do it. Just abandon this shameful attack 
on journalists, on the press and the public that has been going on for 14 years. This case is shameful and it is taking an enormous toll on Julian. He is under enormous pressure. He has been in Belmarsh prison for over five years. It's been two years, two years since the order was issued. This case should just be abandoned. The Biden administration should have dropped it from day one. But now is a right moment for the Biden administration to drop it. So please, those in the United States who are in a power to make a decision, please just drop this case now. Don't let this go on any longer. Thank you. Any questions? No. Yep. Um... Did want to shout out some of these people. Um, so there's there's O O O'Brannan and or O'Brannan and O O I think that's it. Um, you know they they did some hawking outside. The, is that we that the word hawk hawking? Um, to do a hawka. Yes. Um, yes. But here I'll let them I'll let them do their do their hawka. Why, why, Takahiri? Come on, take off that table. Go, come on, take off that table. Go, send it to Tonga. Go, 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 but definitely want to showcase them out there doing that um <laughs> you know shout out to the to the kiwis out, out there um but joe Laurie continues uh the High Court in London on March 26 has ruled that Assange had three grounds to appeal because, one, extradition was incompatible with his free speech rights enshrined in the European Convention on Human Rights, two, that he might be prejudiced because of his nationality, not be given the First Amendment protections as a non-American, and three, because he's inadequate protection against the death penalty, right? I've not seen a lot of talks about this again, right? So... Now, when we when we covered the last assurances, Colin, what was the big deal about the White House assurances and how they mean nothing? Because the judiciary can do what it wants without yeah. the executive branch interfering. So that's kind of weird that they keep asking for these assurances, in my opinion. Um, so. Rather than proceed with the appeal on those three grounds, the High Court gave the U.S. the chance, four years after the extradition process began, to promise it would not use the death penalty, which they've already said that's still a possibility. Their lawyers have said that. So, and to guarantee his free speech rights. Because it is an executive branch decision, the U.S. was able to assure the British government that it would not seek the death penalty, and Assange's lawyers on Monday said they did not consent that, left unexplained, however, was why the British Home Office waited four years to seek what is normally a routine assurance in an extradition case. The free speech issue was more complicated because the decision about Assange asserting a First Amendment defense at trial will be up to a U.S. federal court and not the Department of Justice. Therefore, the DOJ could not issue such an assurance on a free speech issue that ultimately led the two judges, Justice Jeremy Johnson and Victoria Sharp, to allow Assange to launch a formal appeal of his extradition because of an apparent violation of British extradition law based on the European Convention on Human Rights that requires the receiving country to allow an extradited person the right to free speech. 
Johnson and Sharp did not buy the convoluted argument of James Lewis KC for the United States and why the U.S. should get their hands on Assange despite being unable to guarantee his freedom of expression. Edward Fitzgerald KC and Mark Summers KC, barristers for Assange, easily picked apart three pieces of Lewis's somewhat desperate presentation. Pointed out how Lewis has misled the court by saying the U.S. assurance would allow Assange to rely on the First Amendment, when in fact it says he can seek to rely on it. How none of the slew of case law Lewis cited to supposedly bolster his argument actually dealt with a trial, which of course Assange will if he goes to the U.S., that saying Chelsea Manning was not able to invoke First Amendment rights in defense of leaking classified defense information meant Assange shouldn't either was nonsense because Manning was a government whistleblower who had signed non-disclosure agreements. Assange is a publisher. The judges apparently also rejected a drawn-out, arcane, and overly lawyered argument from Lewis about the difference between citizenship and national nationality that to post layman was nearly incomprehensible. That was a watershed moment in this very long battle, said WikiLeaks editor-in-chief Kristinen, at an event following the hearing, today marked the beginning of the end of the persecution. The signaling from the courts here in London was clear to the U.S. government. We don't believe your guarantees. We don't believe in your assurances. So, the First Amendment is at the core of unconstitutionality of the Espionage Act, which makes no exception for a journalist who is in to submit defense information. The Assange case could lead to a constitutional challenge of it, said Major Cohn, former president of the National Lawyers Guild, that may be one reason the DOJ does not want Assange to invoke the First Amendment in court. The U.S.-U.K. Extradition Act bars extradition if an individual might be prejudiced to his nationality and due to the centrality of the First Amendment to his defense, Cohn uh, told Consortium last month. If he's not permitted to rely on the First Amendment because of his status as a foreign national, he'll thereby be prejudiced, potentially very greatly prejudiced by reason of his nationality. Assange contends that he is given First Amendment rights, the prosecution will be stopped. Cohn said the First Amendment is therefore of central importance to his defense. Cohn added if he has the right to free expression and freedom of speech, then what he did, what he's accused of doing, would not violate the law, though allowing First Amendment rights at trial would be ultimately a judge's decision and not the executive branch. Assistant U.S. Attorney Gordon Cromberg, who is prosecuting Assange, has not only indicated that he would file a motion against it in court, but has said explicitly that non-U.S. citizens do not have First Amendment rights in the U.S. for acts committed abroad. A date has not yet been set for Assange's appeal to begin. So, any questions before I close this out? I mean... As you said, this is just more of a kicking up the can, like mm -hmm. literally to assuming that Trump is going to be president to him. Yeah. So this just kind of lets Biden off the hook that no one has to make any well, noise about this at all. And now it can be know, used as a bargaining chip for this election as well. Right. True. You know, depending on how either of them might play that. Um, you know, it could be used as political pawn, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it just seems like what we predicted was that this is going to get drawn out further, you know, so, I, I mean, drop the case. That's what needs to happen. The DOJ needs to just drop this case. So, right. but, um, Matt Kennard, uh, says I was in court today. Be in no doubt, it was a huge victory for Julian. In just over an hour, the U.S. case was completely shredded. The CIA's lawyers were all over the place. Um, but I wanted to bring this because Matt Kennard uh, shouts out the activists who do the work on this day in, day out. You can see this is from Paula Isaiah, who friend of the show. Um, I'll finish with this. They, it's not just the, the justice system that is here. It's, it's, it's both with this case. It's also the media. Where the hell are the media? There's all these irregularities, all these conflicts of interest, that if they were in the mainstream media, even one story we've done, 
had appeared in maybe the Guardian or the Times, it would have changed the case because they'd have had to answer to it. Right? They would have been made accountable. And he's exposed the fact that the media operates largely as an arm of the state, which is why he's in Belmont prison, because he took journalism too seriously. And he was a threat to power, which is what he meant to be as a journalist, and so they put him in prison. And all the rest of the journalists that don't, that basically don't show any solidarity with him in this country and don't cover his legal case, he embarrassed them because he showed them up as arms of the state, largely. They do do some good stories, but largely arms of the state, and they don't like being exposed. So they've become uh, willing executioners alongside the justice system. Uh, but I have hope. I'm more hopeful today than I've been in the whole case. And I also think, I, I think it's a testament to the activists um, who have been on this case for years and years. And there are often people that get no recognition um, uh, and, and no one knows their names, but they're out, especially at this case particularly, there's assigned activists are super, super dedicated, out in the rain, shine, outside Belmarsh, outside the courtroom. And I think they've had an impact. I think yeah. they've had an impact. Oh, Activism has had an impact. So uh, testament to them, and we've got to keep going, and we've got to keep raising the issue and get it as mainstream as possible, and we can win. Absolutely. Uh, Mac and Art, the Classified UK, your work is fantastic. Thank you. I, I utilize it. it. I encourage people to, if you're not, if, if folks here are not uh, following the Classified UK. So, yeah, shout out to the activists. You know, Paula Isaiah, testament to activists, often people that get no recognition. No one knows their names. Sanj activists are super, super dedicated out in the rain, shine, outside Belmarsh, outside the courtroom. And I think they've had an impact. Right? So, mm -hmm. good stuff there. Um, yeah, pretty much my verdict is this. This is my verdict. So, Biden kicking that can down the road as he tends to do. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I, I will try to be optimistic. Um, but, uh, you know, clearly the uh, process is the punishment. So, yeah. Um, talking about these things is why we're demonetized. So go to code-v.com slash Indie News Network, get around that system, scan that QR code, Send us a few dollary dues. Um, you know, and if you can't do that, we appreciate you just liking and subbing, sharing, commenting, you know, doing all that good stuff, hitting that subscribe button, hitting the bell even. It supposedly does something, lets you not miss us. <laughs>